Welcome to CFAN Sports, the sports channel that is dedicated to the Seattle fans. My name is Dave. This is Kevin. Kevin, how you doing? I'm great, man. It's another wonderful evening here in the beautiful Northwest. Right? Heck, that you can't beat that. What do we like you guys to do? Please subscribe to us. Leave comments. Leave questions. Give thumbs up. Give thumbs down. Mm-mm. Whatever you feel, hey, Kevin, we can't tell him not to leave a thumbs down. We just have to keep it like that. Okay. So, Kevin, this week's question that I pose to you is the big three that we had a few years ago, the pitching trio, and the big three that we currently have with the outfield. I like to call them the mint collection. Are we starting to see some similarities between the two? And how what I mean by that is, is Danny Holton never even made it really to the majors he was plagued with injuries kyle lewis been plagued with injuries mm-hmm. okay jared kilnick i mean I, I it's only 30 i mean we're only talking about a three week sample size is the majors too big for him you know no. and then you know julio rodriguez we have no idea we're still in the infancy stage of of his progression okay so i i, I go back to the hope that we had for the big three, okay, Holtzen, Paxson, and Taiwan Walker. Mm-hmm. We got some contributions at some point in time from Taiwan. We actually got a good trade out of him. We we're, were able to trade him for some prospects. Part of, of what we're – the growth that we have now is because of the trades that we made with Taiwan Walker. Paxton, which got – you know, he, he – the big maple was probably the most successful of all of them. Mm-hmm. And we traded him to, to New York and we got some back some prospects and we brought him back this year. But to say that, the, to say that we got the success that everybody had projected with those three pitchers, it really wouldn't have been success. We're still the longest team in all professional sports without a playoff appearance. And part of that is due to Jack Sorensic. <clears throat> Sorry, a little... A little phlegm in my throat there. Excuse me? But, you know, uh, we've had to – I know your ears are burning. It's like saying Lord Voldemort. <laughs> it, it, the simple fact is is that our, our farm system was depleted. We, we, went, we went high price free agents for a while, and that didn't work out. But we thought this big three was going to be the key to unlocking success in the postseason. Are we putting the same types of hopes and dreams in the laps of, of these three kids – as we were before. Kevin, tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm wrong. I think you're wrong. Okay. And the reason why, back in 2012, gotcha. uh, MLB top prospect list, the top 100 in 2012, had Danny Holson at number 16, mm-hmm. had Taiwan Walker at number 18. James Paxton was number 77. Okay. Which well, I found big... interesting because I think, I think Taiwan had a good has had a decent career and Paxton's had a decent career, just yeah. not for Seattle. Right. I also believe that you're talking pitchers mm-hmm. to everyday players. Pitchers okay. get injured, in my opinion, way more because of arm issues, shoulder issues, or Tommy John surgery. There's always pitchers going down i think it's a lot harder to predict uh, pitchers to be the elite i mean some of the pitchers you know coming up they're going to be really good players which i think taiwan walker and james paxton and i really believe danny Olson had more talent oh yeah he than- was uh, according to depoto he said he was the best pitcher he ever saw coming out of high school correct and so i think if he wouldn't have been got injured as much as he did now, Kyle Lewis, I am nervous about Kyle Lewis. I'm worried about his same knee being injured again. How long is he going to be out? Is he going to require another surgery? Is it going to take two years for him to come back healthy? Mm-hmm. We got a lot of unanswered questions. Now, the 2021 yeah. top 100 picks, Jared Kelnick's number four. Okay. Julio Rodriguez is number five. Mm-hmm. That's in 2021. Those are, are, you mean those are the top prospects? Top 100 prospects. Yeah, exactly. So let's go to 2019 top 100 mm-hmm. prospects. Jared Kelnick, number 13. Julio Rodriguez, number 25. Taylor Trammell, interesting, at number 28. Mm. And go back to 2017, uh, Kyle Lewis peaked at 29. Right. So you got, I'm adding Ty, Taylor Trammell in there too, because 
obviously he's part of the mint condition or collection. Sorry. Mint condition. <laughs> I, I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> anyway. Do we? They look good. They're yeah. in mint condition. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're in mint condition right now, Kevin. I think there's oh. a bended corner there somewhere. I, I think that the, the outfielders, there is a lot of wear and tear on their body, but I don't believe that they're going to tear apart as fast as pitchers do. I'm not even worried about Jared Kelnick. Yeah, him and his 097 batting average went back down to tri- right. triple A. Yeah. Kevin, let me – hold on. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, Kevin. Let me ask you this. Do you see a possibility then of, of maybe when Kyle comes back that that we put him less out in the field, maybe DH him some or move him to first base or, I mean, what I, he's, he, the bat is undeniable. He's going to have, he has a great bat. Correct. And, and you saw what we did with Edgar. We took Edgar and, and he wanted to be a third baseman, but his body just couldn't handle that. But he was still turned in to be one of the best hitters in, in all of baseball. And the story wrote itself. I mean, do you see us making a move and, and putting Kyle somewhere else that's less wear and tear on his body? I, I believe he's always kind of going to be an outfielder DH. I don't think he'll be going back to center field anytime soon. Right. I, I mean, I think the guy has all the tools to be a center fielder, but we got to keep him healthy. We got to keep him on our team. And so you so, think that Taylor, Taylor Trammell, you think that that, that kid, it's, it, it, he kind of fell at the right time and was able, you know, thank goodness we had that, you know, break in case of, you know, break glass in case of emergency <laughs> and have him sitting right there. Yeah, I, I do. I think there's also some other talent coming up in the minors. We got one to, today uh, came that's up, kid you've uh, been ta- you've been raving about this kid kevin yeah uh, dylan thomas from played the uh, center field out in tacoma right and uh, he came up today and we df'd nottingham so our sheriff is gone the sheriff is gone so i i believe that we have some some backup we got jake fraley we got we got a lot of pieces so i think we can make it if one of these guys get hurt now, I don't know. We can't keep them all. I get that. We're going to end up trading some off. You know, goes back to that every week question. I mean, are we extenders or are we uh, cutters or whatever you want to call it? Sellers, Kevin. Seven, seven, sellers. sellers. Okay. Yeah. So I think we're going to be okay. And I think the big three, Jared Kelnick, Rodriguez, and Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis. I, I think they're all going to be solid ball players for a long time to come. I think they are going to have their ups and downs. I mean, Julio Rodriguez is going to come up to the bigs and he's going to go back down to AAA, come back up. They're going to play that dance oh, yeah. because that's the way it works. Right. So Mike we- Trout Mike Trout went down a couple of times. Yeah. I mean, this is not foreign territory. No. Um, I, I think a, I see a, I've seen a lot of comments this week about people. Oh, my gosh. You know, the sky he's, is falling. He's a bust. He's a bust. He's a bust. <laughs> OK, it's, it's it's what, 30 games, a 30 yeah. game sample size. Yeah, another funny thing, I was going back through the 2019. I went through the top 100 uh, prospect list. Uh, a couple other names jumped out on me. Did, Logan they, did they hurt you? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Logan Gilbert uh, came in at number 48. Logan has been balling out. He is looking good. Looking good. Evan White was came in at number 58. Yeah. Uh, and Justin Dunn. Get her? Yeah, he came in. I didn't write down the number for some reason, but he was in the top 100 that year, too. So now and we brought back up Shed Long. Yes, we have some some and Shed has been working, trying to get things right in the minors. You know, we're definitely we have that pipeline going back and forth. And and, you know, a lot of big league Cubs do this. They they you know, they send a guy down. He works on the mechanics. Mm-hmm. comes back up and hopefully he takes off and if not that's why they have the minor league systems speaking yeah. of the minor leagues kevin well i, I wanted to finish off with the majors oh, real quick. oh uh, boy I, I cut did, him off again oh uh, that's okay i'm mean, not only did we talked about the you know the transactions going on this week we also had something that i thought was kind of interesting we traded for a pitcher i cannot why rios uh, that's how i'm going to call him why rios why kevin why i don't know we reinstated Drew Steckenrider uh, from the IL due to COVID. Gotcha. Uh, so, so he's back in our, in our bullpen, Kevin? Yeah, and he pitched really well the other night. Robert Duggar and Zamora, Daniel Zamora, went down to AAA. Okay. So that was some of the activity going on. I also wanted to make a note that, you know, it was an okay week 
Make a note, everybody. Last week we had three wins, four losses. I mean, one one out of three against Oakland, two out of two with the Angels. We have right now we're sitting at thirty wins, thirty one losses. Mm -hmm. uh, third in our division, five games out of first place. Where are we saying the wild card race, Kevin? So yeah, we're, I mean we're four games out of the second spot in the wild card. Four games. Um, all right, Kevin, tell us about the Rainiers. What did we have down in Tacoma? Well, last week we won two wins, three losses. So mm -hmm. we're sitting at 14 and 14. Anybody jumping out at you down there? Uh, we're third in the division down there. Cal Raleigh is still tearing it up. He is lighting it up. 356 batting average right now. He's just, okay. he, he is a wrecking machine. Dylan Moore just started his uh, rehab assignment. Rehab, uh-huh. So I'm excited about that. I like Dylan gotcha. Moore. Gotcha. Um, and that's, you know, besides Thomas coming up, that was pretty much the only couple of guys and the only news down in AAA that's going good right now. Okay, excellent. Let's move to our Kansas, shall we? The Travelers last week, two wins, four losses. Ooh. They're sitting at 14 wins, 15 losses, third in their division. Kind gotcha. of sound familiar like the Mariners. I think it does. Now, exciting thing is Brian O'Keefe, who is a catcher down there, is oh. batting 326 and playing very, very well. Brian O'Keefe. Brian oh. O'Keefe. Sounds like a good Irish boy. Yeah. And then we got, you know, Jake. Uh, it's kind of cooled off quite a bit. The infielder, Schneider, or however you pronounce the name, He's down to 288 batting average. However, I, I would take a 288 batting average. Kevin. Well, yeah, I would too. <laughs> However, a young man we haven't talked about yet, Tyler Herb, who is a pitcher, has a 2 2 record with a 1.04 ERA. Does he have a does he have a sister named Peaches? I don't know. That okay. it would be Good Peaches know. and Herb, though. Right. And that's really dating yourself, by the way. I know, right? Kevin, then, it's a good thing we're reunited. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Ian McKinney, the other pitcher that we've been talking about. Okay. He's actually um, kind of struggled a little bit in the last game, but he's still 2-0 record, uh, 277 ERA, and 39 strikeouts. Good to know. So he is second in strikeouts, tied for second in strikeouts in the league. All right. Kevin, so should we move to Everett? We shall. No, thank you. I mean, yeah. oh, oh, <laughs> literally, not literally. Not literally, no. All right, so last Good week, Everett was three wins, three losses. Their total are 17 wins, 12 losses. Their second mm -hmm. third division. Gotcha. Um, Julio's still gone. But Caden, let's just say Caden P went off last week. He batted okay. 4 409 last week, was named the player of the week. Five home runs, six runs scored, eight RBIs. Wow. He went off. Good. Uh, the only other player down there is, you know, Jake Larson, uh, or Jack Larson, excuse me, center fielder, is batting 333. And so those two guys are just, besides Julio, when Julio comes back and picks it back up, those okay. guys are tearing it up down in, in Everett. So good. Well, the Aqua Sox are doing good. Aqua Kevin, Sox tell us about D's. The Nuts are two wins, four losses. However, they're 19 wins. And 11 losses total, second in their gotcha. division. We're going to start off with a different guy tonight, Cade Marlowe. He's an outfielder. Marlowe. Marlowe. Okay. He's batting 317. Uh -huh. uh, Victor Labrada, who is a center fielder we've talked about pretty much every week, he's batting 306. Mm -hmm. Novell Marte kind of cooled down a little bit. He's 302. Yeah, cooled down a little um, bit. But Cade is actually leading the team in runs at 29, RBIs mm -hmm. 24. Stolen bases, 11. I thought wow. it was interesting. Marte is leading the team with eight home runs. So those guys go. are are the – basically, they've got the, all the stats full, just the two of those guys. So Good. Mar Marlo taking most of them. So And that's what I've got. Kevin, well, if you liked what we had to say, you have any more questions about uh, the minor leagues or, or, the, or the major league team, please leave us questions down below. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down. Kevin, you have anything else? I want to know everybody's opinion. So please comment. Let us know oh, whether, whether you think the big three pitchers are better than the mint or collection. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to do it again. The um, mint, mint collection. There we yeah, go. Yeah, the mint collection. So let us know what you think. I mean, what do you think? I mean, are we right or are we wrong? I don't know. That only time will tell, Kevin. 
Only All right, you guys. Everybody have a good week. Mariner Weekly is over. Peace out. Peace.